Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm so excited to bring another random reading to cap off the entire month of May. I hope and pray that this video reaches every single person that needs to hear today's message. Of course, since, the, since it's a random reading, I actually have no idea um, who this video will be for, what this video will be about. But all I know is that I wanted to do one, okay? And you know me, I don't half ask nothing. So if I do it, I'm going to do it through hell and high water. So guys, this is going to be for every single person that basically clicks on the video. So if you click on the video, congratulations, you already won. All right? So, <laughs> so let's go ahead and... um give a nice shuffle i'm very interested to see here exactly what this reading will be about i really hope that it resonates with a lot of people let's see okay that's the first card that's the second card that's the third card that's the fourth card that's the fifth card and for all those that are really paying attention to my spread don't take it seriously okay i may be putting some of the cards different places i'm just putting it intuitively where i want to put it all right i don't really you know go off of it like you know surgically you know i just put the cards where they where they fall and that's how i read okay so these two cards need to be over here this is the last couple of cards well i do feel this is about love okay i had a feeling but i wanted the cards to confirm or deny it and here on camera live no edit i can deny that this is not going to be about career and i can confirm that it will be about love okay the crowning energy is six of cups And I just heard the word sibling. And then I heard twin flame. So as you know, now I'm not going to go deep into the concept of the twin flame um, phenomena. I'm just not. Okay, I don't have time to go through it. And I'm trying to also understand it myself as an intuitive, as a messenger of light and love. Um the bottom line here is that this is about two people that are almost like siblings, but not obviously romantic, okay? This is going to get a little weird, but not like um, in a disgusting, inappropriate way. This is in a way that two people are like kindred spirits, okay? You guys act like each other you guys finish each other's sentences um this could even be like a secret love somebody has for a friend like you could be in love with a friend who's a female or in love with somebody who is a like a dream to be around but somehow I feel that this, whoever I'm reading for, I feel that this, these two people have basically built this off of the foundation of kind of like a brotherly, sisterly love, okay? If that makes any sense, like, you guys have, have um, come together, you guys came together, okay, at some point over similarities, over this love for something okay so once again i'm not talking about brother and sister i'm talking about two people that it feels like this person's a part of you this person feels like they're a part of like your soul family okay once again the concept of twin flame i think is very present here so it's like you know you guys are sharing a, a, like like a like a, a connection here okay and not it's not on a very like wishy-washy basis it's on a it's on a basis of this person belongs with me this person is me and i am them and we are meant to be together so this is a very very um mega opening okay this is an opening that i did not see coming but that's what this video is for so if that 
one card resonates with you, keep watching, invest your time, and I'm happy to make this video for anybody who clicks on it, okay? Now, I want to just honestly go wherever I feel like going. I'm not going to go through every single card, you know, chronologically because I just, or alphabetically, whatever you want to call it, because I just feel that that is tacky for a random reading. I want to go where I need to go. So if you're the kind of person who likes something a Pacific style, specific style, this ain't the video, okay? I'm gonna go where Spirit wants me to go. I'm just gonna tell you guys the dealio here, okay? So it's not formal. <laughs> it's not formal. All right, so we got the Four of Swords crossing the Seven of Pentacles. Below, we have the Hermit, which is the Virgo card, okay? Um, the word Venus the word Venus also just came to mind. So whatever that's in like relation to, I'm sure you guys can figure that out, whoever that relates to. Um, Six of Swords reversed is in the distant past, okay? So talk about a weird love reading, okay? Talk about a love reading that is like over the top, okay? So we got somebody who is, is refusing to move on. Okay, this definitely could be the other person. I don't think this is you. This could be the other person who is 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 holding on for dear life, okay? To the point where the boat is in the water upside down, okay? It is it is drowning with all the swords, all the coats, all the the articles and tools and food and things that you need in a in a boat to travel someplace. The boat is now upside down in a wreck, okay? It's about to drown for real, for real. But there is somebody who, and Spirit's saying this could be both of you guys, okay? But there definitely is one person more than the other, okay, who is not wanting to let go. This is somebody who was wanting to stick something out and wanting to be in it to the end, okay? This also could be a marriage, straight up, that you're you're in a marriage with somebody and one of you guys is 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 just ready to leave. And <laughs> I mean, I can back that up. I can back that up because the crossing card is the four of swords, okay? And the four of swords is the card of rest and relaxation. But the resting relaxation only comes because a person took a break, okay, or withdraw or with or withdrew themselves from the situation. So the reason why this person can lay on the bed and, and even though there's three swords looking up from the bed, okay, like that should scare the person. That should make the person want to jump up and say, holy crap, there's three swords above my head. But because the person has separated themselves from the drama okay you see what i'm saying you see what i'm going and it separated themselves from the chaos no matter how ugly the situation looks this person is still okay with the chaos this person is okay with laying there so that's what i feel is going on here one person is stuck seeing the chaos and reacting to the chaos and then there's somebody else who sees the chaos smells the chaos can see it coming from a mile away but doesn't care chilling sleeping maybe even singing in the bed okay singing in the bed painting okay eating a sandwich like doesn't give two rats ass about the drama the drama of it all okay so what you have crowning for these two people, because these are two people individually. This is what I see here. This is the energy of, of two different people who I do believe are either married, twin flames, or have broken up, have broken up. Like, it may not be official, but like, these two people are separated, okay? So whatever that means for you, whatever category you fall into, 
this video is for you okay now if you don't relate to any of those things i just said then maybe fast forward okay because i'm gonna go into this and as you can see there's two people in this card and there's two people over here man woman man woman so this is definitely a relationship that is on its last legs, to put it lightly, okay? This relationship is is really and truly could be coming to a close. So I just want to go ahead and pull two cards, if not three, just to clarify what I just said. Okay, one. That's one. Two. two or three five three that's the one ah you see okay so we're dealing with sword energy here we're dealing with we're dealing with some we're dealing with something where people are angry at each other for <laughs> oh eight, wow nice eight of wands okay these are definitely the cards this is definitely the cards for you in this random reading so we got the Eight of Wands upright. This is upright, okay? Judgment upright, Five of Swords upright, and the Ten of Pentacles reversed. So to be very, 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 very blunt, this Four of Swords person, and if you're a female and the Four of Swords caricature matches up with you more than the Six of Swords reversed, that's okay. Spirit saying you're in the right place. Okay, so yes, I feel that this person, Four of Swords over here, right? You have given, you have said your 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 final say. That's what's happened here. Okay, Four of Swords, Eight of Wands. This is almost like the same energy coming off of the card, but this one is slightly more dominant. Do you see what I'm saying? For those that are fellow readers watching this video, this one is 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 like leading leading the way. Okay? So, whoever this person is, whatever this means, these two cards mean and symbolize for you who who are watching and listening to the sound of my voice, you've said what you've had to say, okay? You've done what you've had to do and what I think is a shame here is that this person is like already out the door. This person's already out the door. This person is has has honestly left the scene. Okay, the Eight of Wands gives me the energy of somebody who's left the scene. This person does not really care about how many things this person over here is trying to collect and save before the boat completely capitulates and sinks. So what the cards are saying here for the Six of Swords character, whoever that is that I'm reading for, is that have you paid attention to what this person has said or have you not? Because as you can see over here, this person is chilling like a villain. This person is ready to relax. This person is ready to have the time of their life. Once they're done resting, they're going to get up and walk right out the door and get a martini. While you're over here focusing on the petty and the things that don't work in your relationship, this person's over here already saying, you know what? I already said what I had to say. And somebody has failed to communicate that they're done or is failing to communicate that something is wrong here okay that's not for all of you but that is for I think a lot of couples out here that are living together I feel that you have missed the mark somebody has missed the mark and this judgment card almost gives me the energy of like God, to be honest with you, like the infinite looking down on these two people saying, what the hell are you doing? 
okay and if I look back at this this picture this illustration from afar it almost looks like a like a like a elephant and I know in certain uh, religions and cultures the elephant has a certain meaning okay I don't know what that is I don't want to I have an idea but I'm not gonna say it because I want to be wrong so if you see what I'm if you see that 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 elephant as you look back at it look up look up that meaning I don't know what that means that's for somebody out here okay could be more than one person out here so yeah, it gives me the energy of like an elephant, an angel, God, like those kind of three symbolisms, okay? So I do feel that this 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 union between these two people, okay? I'm also going to say twin flame. This union between these two people is sacred. It's meant to be. It's meant to be. And funny enough... What Spirit's saying here is that if you just turn the card upright and you put it where it's supposed to be, you will see that this person in that boat who's drowning is making their way to the Four of Swords. This person in that boat that was drowning can easily turn the boat around and reroute itself to go to this person's house, to go to this person face to face and say, get up. We're getting back in the boat and we're going home. So this person, the four of the four of swords person has the energy of like, I'm not going anywhere. I've already done what I wanted to do and what I wanted to say. And I'm not going to say no more. I'm not going to do no more. OK, and and what's even trickier is that this could be a situation in which two people are the four of swords and not the six of swords, where two people are laying in the bed dead for dead and not wanting to get up and work nothing out. But what spirits draw my attention here to say is that this person can easily make their way over. So long story short, somebody has to make their way over. This cannot continue by somebody laying down and somebody struggling. How is this going to work if somebody's over here struggling and the other person's over here lazy daskal on the bed, drinking alcohol, having fun, basically neglecting responsibility? Okay, and this actually could be a real thing where somebody's literally neglecting responsibility, drinking up a storm, parting up a storm, and neglecting that the boat, the boat is drowning, the relationship is drowning, the partnership is 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 dissolving right before the person's eyes, and they don't care. So This Four of Swords is with the Eight of Wands, the communication card. But this person is, is going to do that no more. Or this person has already told themselves that I'm not going to do no more communication. I'm not going to say anything. I already said it. So, going into the second half of the spread, the cards tell, are telling a story that the Ace of Wands... The Four of Pentacles reverse, the Eight of Swords upright, the Magician upright, and the Fool of the Fool upright, the Fool upright <clears throat> is talking about the stop to this madness. So, funny enough, the Four of Pentacles in reverse is about being open being willing to adjust and if the person has to give something they will freely give it they will freely give it in order to get back on the right page so do some of you guys out here need to do that do you need to open up your arms and and make the effort you know, like spirit saying here, what are you what are you hiding for? Because the four of pentacles upright is about being like a hoarder, you know, keeping things tight to the chest. And if we're talking about love, 
that's the heart chakra and look at all the heart look at all the pentacles with the green color on it that are symbolizing somebody keeping their love from somebody somebody being selfish being neglectful and keeping their attention and their love to themselves it's like madness it's like somebody's got to stop this so we got the eight of swords upright the fool upright and the magician upright so these so once again the male the female so this lack of effort this lack of agreement has brought us to a person who doesn't want to give and the other person who feels insecure and that's their way of not giving regardless of the gender this is the way that these two people now are acting out their disobedience to one another but the good thing is that the four of pentacles is in reverse so this is like i feel a key card saying here that if you want change somebody's gonna have to open up okay but these two people are very very stubborn um that's the spirit saying here that whoever this person i'm reading for like they're stubborn okay this these two people are acting out in a stubborn childish way six of cups okay uh, and and there's a journey to be made i think that somebody needs to go to somebody and say something like maybe offer an apology okay because a magician in the full card is about i feel a new start okay so yeah spirit saying here that whatever this is is it may not be uh what you had in mind but it is the correct thing to do okay all right is that all i have for them that's all I got. Well, if you enjoyed that, like and subscribe. And if you want a private reading with me, my website and my email is below. I will see you all in the next video. I hope this entertained you and helped you and guided you most importantly. Take care, guys. Bye-bye. See you in June 1st.